So what, what could we start with? We could start with a, a weird game. Purgatelli, I think we did that one. Shit game, we did that one. Sunday. Uh, maybe we could do that one. Tebe Monster. Hocus Pocus' is epic adventure. No Escape Saga. What the fuck are these titles? I wouldn't even... Let's start with Sunday, because it is Sunday, almost. Well, in many parts of the U.S. and other places in the world, it's still Sunday. It's still Sunday. So let's just do that one. And then we'll, we'll see how bad this is and take it from there. For the record, I don't think all these games are bad at all. I, I love weird games. You know, this isn't a trash stream. This is just weird games. Sometimes there's trash. Those are usually shovelware showcases. But this is, in particular, just, just strange things. And, uh, what was that? Hi. What is this? TV? Oh, okay, it's a point and click. <clears throat> Lucky, I- by the way, my throat's been scratchy. I got- I don't know what the hell that was, but I woke up and I felt, like, slightly sick. So if I go, <clears throat> that's because I'm- I'm dying. So this is a point and click. Lucky painting. Rest in peace, Lucky. You were a good boy. Well, that's a great way to start a stream. Reminiscing about a dead dog. Good. Phone. Nobody's calling. So there's officially two horrible things already happening. Phone book. It's a brand new phone book filled with people you've never heard of. TV. The family's old TV. No use trying to watch anything. The power's out. Then how is the phone ringing? Hey, you finally picked up, nerd! Sorry, it was Mary. Sorry, I was in the shower. What's up? What psycho takes a shower during a power outage? Haven't you learned anything from scary movies? That is like the perfect time for a murderer to break into your house. I don't watch scary movies, and you know that. Fuck! I forgot how much of a nervous Nelly you were! How in the world I got stuck in a town full of weenies? I don't, I don't even know. Seriously, the next time you're over my house, I'm gonna educate you on all the classics. Jason, Kruger, Kubrick. Wait, Stanley Kubrick in the same category as Jason and Freddy Krueger? Also, Jason and Kruger are not directors. And uh, Kubrick is not a horror movie monster. Maybe he means, like, the movie The Shining? Fuck this guy, I don't like, I don't like him. Um, but is enough planning? What are you doing tonight? Nothing. What is there even to do when the power's out? It's fucking Friday night! Our parents are out of town. This is literally the perfect time to fuck shit up! Aren't you grounded? So? No one's gonna catch us in a fucking power outage. Everyone's probably just hiding in their houses eating canned beans or something. Look, I'm not asking you to rob a bank. It's just a little vandalism. That's all I'm asking. Oh, that's it? Just some vandalism? That's like the biggest understatement of the century. Come on! No. Eggs? No. TP! No. Cow tipping! We don't even have cows. Fuck! You're killing me, Schmalls! Why can't you just do it yourself? Yeah, he called me Schmalls because it's a long story about small balls. It, they've been- Mari's been picking on me for years. You're telling me that you don't want in on these prime shenanigans? Yes. Ugh, you are a buzzkill! Hey. Germ said he was gonna call. I wonder if he's doing all right. I forgot about that kid. We've got more important stuff to think about tonight. Later. Click. Board games. Some of my favorite old board games. We should cover these on um, a board games. Who could forget classics like Yatso and Monopoly? Someone call up board James. He's gotta cover them. Playing these games alone is kind of dumb though. Candles. These candles smell gross. I've never seen my parents light them. I wonder what they're for. Cross and Halo. These days, it seems like the Cross and Halo are hovering over me wherever I go. What? Okay. Hi. Hi, Jeremiah. How's your cold? As bad as... <laughs> as bad as ever. It feels like I'll be stuck in bed for the rest of my life. Yikes. Sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm... I'm... I'm used to being this sick. That's not why I'm calling, though. What's up, Jeremiah? I I'm kind of... Well, I'm here all alone, and it's really spooky out here. Hold tight, Jeremiah. They normally get the power back up in and out. What, what the fuck am I playing? 
No, it's not that. There's just something... There's something creepy in the air tonight, you, you know? Yeah, I know. Creepy is right. Pray for me, all right? I'll be praying for you and Liz. God bless Jesus Christ and the Church of Latter-day Saints. And Mary? Yeah, 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 even her. Oh, God, I was voicing Mary like Luigi. I thought it was like Mario, like a short for Mario. Mario! But it was just a... No, that's the wrong voice for that character. It's, it's gonna stick now. Thanks, Jeremiah. I really mean it. Click. Look at these hands. Ah, boo pizza. Family photo. Happy picture. A picture of my happy family from not uh, from long ago. My family sure doesn't look like this anymore. Codex. Four pillars of pure light will stretch to the heavens like arms. So said the prophet. Unbelieving of his word, the crowd cast stones and spat epithets of like venom off their tongue. But through the brutality, the prophet bowed his head and spoke these words. God's will is strong, and his grace is everlasting. Hatred and violence are but an ailment. You cast stones and speak curses, but when the tetramorph returns, you will be healed. And only when we are all healed. Have you seen the sky? No, I'm still trapped in my apartment. Oh, oh right, I, I forgot about that. What I'm getting at is that it looks crazy out there. Like something straight out of the death metal album art, I swear. Clouds everywhere. They're all fucking huge, but the sky... What about it? It looks angry. Angry? Like it's gonna swallow us whole at any moment now. I, I don't know. I knew there was something weird about today, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Do, do you think uh, this is a sign? A sign of, of what? Revenge? A reckoning? Rapture even? Thought you didn't believe in that stuff anymore. You... You can be afraid of things you don't believe in. I thought you'd understand that at least. What am I playing exactly? A game about rapture and Jesus Christ and dogs that go to heaven? Even if I don't buy into what they say about the afterlife, that doesn't mean I'm not afraid of dying. I've done some bad things that I'm not proud of, and I take full credit for what I did, but knowing there's an off chance I'll be punished for those things might have been to eternity. I'm part of me ask myself, is it even worth the risk? I have to be me. That's who I am. I, I'm looking at the sky right now, and suddenly I feel heavy. I can't breathe. They've been waiting, watching, recording, testing us, and now they're all ready to give us the final grade. I hope it's a good one. Me too. Okay. Old books. Bunch of my parents' old religious books. They never made much sense to me. Oh my god! Let me leave the room! It's a bunch of videotapes, birthdays, weddings. Even if the power is on, I wouldn't have much use for these. We haven't had a VCR since the last one broke. Phone. Hey, my power just turned off. Everything alright with you? Yeah, everything's fine. I just got calls from German Mari, so... Looks like the whole neighborhood is down. Oh, I see. Glad to hear you're okay. Same. A little worried about Germ, though. He sounded pretty awful. Yeah, I heard it. It was bad even on his record. I'd go to give him... A visit, but it looks like it's pouring hard out there. I probs should avoid probs, should avoid getting sick if I can. We've had a pretty dry summer, so I'm not um, entirely sure how the weather forecasters missed this one. Um, so much for hanging out tonight. Yeah, I was looking forward to that. Wow, it sounds pretty bad out there. Can you hear the thunder? Yeah, I can. It's a little eerie on my end. I'm, on, I'm the only one here. Yeah, me too. Hey, maybe if we stay in touch, we won't get spooked out. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Just give me a call. Definitely. Okay. I like the band Sneezer as well. A lot has happened in the last few years, but... I'm me, and that's never gonna change. These guys were great in concert. No way mom and dad would let me go to live shows anymore. Are these smut magazines? Oh, we gotta answer the phone. Hello? Uh, hello? Jeremiah, is that you? Yeah. Are you alright? I'm scared. I'm scared and I, I feel like I'm dying. What's wrong? God is coming to take me. I can feel it. I I know I shouldn't question his will, but, but I'm scared to die. Don't say that, Germ. I mean, Jeremiah. I know what you guys, what you call me. Look, that's not important, but something, there's something wrong. Something terrible is happening. You're gonna be okay, Jeremiah. You're okay. With these arms, I feel the pizza. I miss my old friends, Liz and everyone else. Fun to hang out with, but I wish I could still talk to everyone else too. Cat poster. 
Mom left this note in the living room. Special service tonight. Won't be back until later. Dinner in the fridge. Stay inside. Love, Mom. Homework. If I'm homeschooled, it, it, I apostrophe F, I'm homeschooled. Isn't all work homework? Hey. Murray, what the hell's going on? What are you talking about? First you call me about the end of the world or something, now Jeremiah has completely lost his shit, I'm really worried about him. I think you need to calm down! You don't sound like yourself. Maybe I decided to calm the fuck down for once in my life, you know? Be the adult here. That's great and all, but I'm worried about Jeremiah. He, he's, is he picking up the phone for you? Why would I bother calling him? Why should I care about some kid having a mental breakdown? I know you care about Jeremiah. What's what's wrong with you right now? I've got to figure some stuff out. Maybe you do too. What are you talking about? Aren't you curious at all? Come on. No, you're not that dense. The Sky Jeremy special Sunday service. I haven't told anyone, but weird shit is happening here too. I was worried I was going crazy. Maybe you are. But instead of waiting to find out, maybe you should check what's right under your nose. Mom and Dad's room, of course. They always keep it locked. Keep it locked. <laughs> Call it intuition, or maybe just common fucking sense, but there's probably a spare key lying around. I guess so, Mary. That's my name. I'm really scared. Will you stay on the phone with me? Sorry, Smalls. I've got some important shit to take care of. See you tonight. Mom and Dad's room key is here! Bones will dissolve and the flesh will rend. Form and shape will give way to the pure light. Only in this transformation of body to soul, the sickness to health, a vessel to tetramorph, is the will of God made fully evident. Special service Sunday, 3 p.m. Church of the Holy Codex. Brothers and sisters, the time is finally upon us. Let us make history. These things are everywhere. Kitchen, hallway, even the bathroom. I never weren't like this until we moved. I was the only cross and halo. What is happening to them? Why did they have to change? Symbol of the fours. Fourfold. Four branches, four corners, four thorns, four hemispheres. What, what's with the obsession with that number anyway? The reunion is upon us. Soon we will be one with Sephiroth. Hello? The sky, it's red. Why is it red? I don't understand. Oh god, I can't breathe! Oh no. My body, please make it stop! I don't know how. Why are they doing this to me? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? No, you did nothing wrong, Liz. I, I don't want this. I don't understand. I thought we were going to the park. I'm not ready. I haven't done anything with my life. I can hear them whimpering, whispering to me, rather. At first it sounded like empty noise, but now they're telling me to let go or they're telling me to join them. And their songs, they're singing to me. They want me to join. I don't understand. I don't want to lose this. Lose what? Everything. My parents, my friends, they're telling me that they'll all be there once this is all over. They've been watching us very carefully. Now they're ready to open the gates. Liz? I, I think I I'm going to go. It's quiet here. Their songs. The pain goes away if I listen. Everything goes away if I listen. And my dear son Gabriel, I said to him, let the boy watch. They're waiting for us. They've been waiting for so long. I can feel it down in my plums. Won't you come join us? We'll meet at the park, throw rocks in the riverside. Just you and me, we can finally be free. I feel so light, lighter than I've ever felt before. Wake me up. Can't wake up. When you get here, I'll save you a seat. The fuck is this game? What, what, what is this shit? No. Oh. Welcome to Rapture Simulator 2016. With these hands, I fight the demons. With these arms, I feel the beat.
as much as I would like to listen to that whole song. <laughs> I'm not going to. <clears throat> the, what the? I don't know what the hell that was. I'm really not sure. Um, well, there, there you go. That really happened. Again, this is a total grab bag. I have no idea what I'm going to play next. I'm going to try this thing called Tabe Monster, which requires a controller. Um, so yeah, sorry about that one. If, if, I mean, it was, it was weird. I'll give it that. Oh my God. All right. This looks even more interesting. At least this one. Well, when you see the title screen, you'll see this is probably the exact opposite of the previous thing I just played. Hello and welcome to the Japanese Game Show! What the f- <laughs> What?! What is this?! Matsumoto Auto! Open your mouth! Open your boobie! Your boobie! Open your fucking mouth! It's a physics-based eating game. Get in there. Oh, oh did you see that was sensual? That briefly, that was very sensual. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the ban. Did you know that China banned streams of people eating bananas sensually? So this stream is now officially banned in China. Masaki Auto! Yeah, Tabe means food in Japanese. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to eat. Oh, can I eat the panda? No. Full lobster. Yeah, with the crusts. Tabe means eat. Oh, they, right, right, right. So what is, um... What's drink? I forgot drink. I remembered a few words in J Japanese, but I totally forgot. So what would be drink monster? It's, um, biru wa... Beer, beer is beer. Biru is beer. I got that one. Sono biru wa oishi desu. Nomu? Okay. I never knew that one. Yeah, I learned- at one point, I learned about 17 Japanese words. Because I thought it would help my enjoyment of that- that stupid, uh, downtown show with Matsumoto Auto. But, that was not a good idea, as I did not end up learning very much. I learned the equivalent to the first two days in Spanish class. In high school. Yeah, give me that- yeah, give me the, the pyramid of food. Food pyramid. Yeah, eat it. Ah, oh, it's, it's cardboard. It tastes good. Give me. <laughs> I can't eat it. Hot doggo, auto. These objects are getting harder and harder to eat. Yeah, I did it. I smacked myself into it. Fuck yeah, a whole shark? No, eat it. Yeah, keep going. It's a whale. Guys, it's a little miniature whale. Winner. I did it, guys. I ate two mini whales. I ate baby whales straight out the oven. So, I don't feel much like a winner after playing that one. I feel more like... <clears throat> A winner in the sense that, like, winners don't do drugs. Like, I feel like a winner by default, but not the winner of this game.
wonder if you can win by just doing this. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Dog. <laughs> oh, that counted. This almost kind of does look like Danny DeVito a little bit. Okay. Well, that was uh, Eat Monster. Tabe. Tabe Monster. Uh, that one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. I guess, uh, what are we doing next? Sandstorm. I know what you're going to say. Go ahead and say it, get it out of your system. And then we can rejoin. This is under the good game category. Mount distant from west. Okay, hang on. Uh, to pilgrimage. Game by Daniel Linson. So this game requires a controller. up a cog. Let me not misspeak when I say I picked up a cog. C-O-G. I'm wondering, my warding charms, the sandstorm has arrived. I estimate still a few days west of Mount Distant. Mount Distant, it's called, huh? If I do not survive, I hope that these letters find someone so that the others may know of my journey. And if you are following my long gone footsteps, good luck. <clears throat> the desert is very confusing. You see how, like, the, the camera kind of rotates? Oh, you can set markers down. I found something. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm pressing buttons, but nothing's happening. Someone in chat just asked me if they could state their opinion. Hey Vinny, can I state my opinion? I mean... <laughs> you can. But what if I had never seen your comment? Would you have never stated your opinion? Did your stating the opinion hinge on me... On me, um... Seeing the comment? I gotta find out what his opinion is. Now I'm curious. Like, it's it's gotta be good. I lost it. I don't even know who said it at this point. The, the name is gone. We'll never- I'll never know. Oh, fuck. Well, 
Well, you, you definitely can ask. I mean, you're being polite about it. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely. What, what, you know, you could email me your opinion. So, <clears throat> one thing... Oh, it was the... Okay, I see who it is. Um, anyway, in any case, let me get back to the game. Uh, one day I'll learn. One day I'll learn of his opinion. But, for now, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna keep trying to finish... Or I'm gonna keep trying to play this, play this game. Right? But the problem I have here is... Apparently the mountain... His opinion was this game blows. But we've only been playing it for three minutes. It might be good. It might be real good. What if it's what if it's awesome and then you're, you're really sad because you you just like said bad things about a cool game. There is blowing sand. I mean, it is a sandstorm. And just as I said that, South Bird said the exact same thing. Oh no... I'm lost and I can't see anything. So, that was a whole day. And... Um, the storm has mostly subsided, but I am now more lost than ever. My camel is gone, my cart is gone, all my supplies are gone. Even Mount Distant is nowhere on the horizon. Um... Whoops. Well... Yeah, that does not bode well for me. I'm also- I'm totally out of, um, sticks with flags at the top of them. Vinny, you're pretty much fucked, so go find secrets and stuff. But the wind is blowing so hard that I cannot see anything. I found, like, shrubberies. I think that's the universal, you're dead. Um, well, it says here, oh. So north, where is Mount Distant from the west? I'm gonna give this another shot. I think this game does look kind of cool. Camel friend. Where are we going, camel friend? Okay, I can drag the camel with me. This game is so interactive. I found a well. Can't interact with said well, so let's just forget about that. Oh, I have to go back to the cart. I hate sand. It's coarse, it's rough, and it gets everywhere! <sighs> I am no longer in control of my character. I am in control of Camel. Also, I cannot for some reason change directions of camel. I can only go in this direction. This camel is too stubborn.
Your name, John Camel. Your mission, to get kids addicted to cigarettes around the world. Your tools, marketing, nicotine, and death. Needs camel. You think my camel died? I'm gonna name my camel Toe. T O W. Hey, let's play a cool game. It's called, What Happens If You Just Keep Going Right? Oh, you like my comedy style? Thanks, I like it too. Camel toe is a funny word. And the shadows have begun to take form and are following me, watching me. I think they're waiting for something. I think those are vultures waiting for your corpse, actually. No, Jen, don't... don't laugh at my jokes. It's bad for you. Don't... don't even attempt to try to find my jokes funny. Because if you do... You might... you might end up getting addicted to the vine sauce streams. And that's bad, okay? World famous Vine Star streamer Jen is in the audience, everyone. I've scoured for the sand the sand for hours now without any luck. <clears throat> it seems the dragon emblem is gone for good in this foreskin desert. How am I gonna find my way to the camel without that twitching trinket? <clears throat> so the the trinket guides you to the camel. Use your compass. I would love to know how to use my compass. That that, that sounds pretty cool. But instead, I found a thing. Guys, I found something. It was a, a thing, and it was in the middle of the thing. So the compass is in the top there, right? But it just keeps... facing up. And then, then when I move, it kind of wobbles a bit, and it stops wobbling, and then that's it. Um, so I don't know, am I going north right now, or am I going south? It's got two ends. I'm assuming I'm going north, but... I mean, see, now that's north, right? So that's north. And we're still going north. Now that's north. And we don't blink. And we go north and we just keep keep on going. And we go north and we don't blink. And we go north. You are only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. And we keep don't blink. Keep on going. And we don't blink. Yep, so this is a cool game that I have no idea how to play. I think it's just Get Lost Simulator. Here, enjoy this. <clears throat> enjoy this while while that happens. And if I keep blinking, it weakens me. But if I'm talking to you, and I don't blink, and I just keep going, and I don't blink, and I keep on going, and I don't blink, and I just keep going, and I don't blink, and I keep on going, and I don't blink, and I just keep going, and I don't blink, and I keep on going, and I don't blink, and I just keep going. And I don't blink. And I keep on going. And I don't blink. 
and I just keep going and I don't blink and I keep on going and I don't blink and I just keep going and I don't blink and I keep on going and I don't blink you start to listen to what I'm saying <laughs> and sure. it makes me a very strong person as opposed to someone who is sitting there going so we having fun This is a cool game where going north gets you nothing. I've gone north for so long, and there's been nothing. There's, n there's so much, so little to see, so little to do. So little to see, so little to do. So little to see, so little to do. So what's wrong with taking the poop poo? Go east. Oh. Oh, hang on a second. I found the YouTube play button in the in the sand here. What is this place? Supplies are gone. The mountain is nowhere to be found. And if I wander too far, I die. Oh, what's that? I'm dying anyway? Too bad. Supplies are gone. Life is gone. I am now a man wandering endlessly through the desert. I kind of wanted to play this, too. I kind of wanted to get to the desert. This is definitely an interesting concept. <clears throat> maybe not right for, um... Maybe not right for the Sunday stream in the sense of, like, playing the whole thing. But I, I like the idea of it. It's just kind of... I see a lot of people getting bored by it, and, um... I, I, apparently I'm not figuring out how to do this. Despite myself not blinking. At all. Like, I didn't blink for as long as Michael Caine told me not to. So this game is called Norman Sky. <laughs> nope. Nope. Mason, you're not going to get me to say that the game blows. I, no. It could maybe be good. The game literally tells you to go east, and you completely avoided the simple objective. Hang on a minute. Well, people were telling me to go west, which I also ignored. Hang on, before I check out the new game... Let me just, uh, just check this out real quick. I'm still a few days west of Mount Distant. Oh, you're right. My bad. Some people... See, because I, I just read it without, like, processing it, as I usually do, like an asshole, right? And people in chat had interpreted that as west. And then uh, other people were like, go east. And then some people yet were go north. So I just went north. It was a good choice. A good choice with lots of nothing to see. Anyway, Norman Sky. <clears throat> God damn it, what the hell the f <sighs> oh. What? What, uh, what was this? What, what the fuck is this? some really cool noises. This is, yeah, if Star Fox was on the NES. This was part of a low-res game jam. Let me see, instructions. Z and X go up and down, left and right arrows. Okay, there's a whole other set of controls here. Whoa! Oh, shit!
Oh, if only it didn't sound like ass. Low res graphics doesn't necessarily have to equal low res sound. the green planet? You want to go to the green planet? Let's go to the green planet. Oh, uh, you know what? This one's closer. Let's go to this one. <laughs> it's, it's an early form of No Man's Sky. I'm going so fast in this direction that I can't even stop. Every dot in the sky can actually be reached and landed on. Uses Newtonian physics, but equipped with hyperbrake. You can actually achieve stable orbits around body. Um, awful sounds to go with the resolution. Well, that's not that's not an understatement. Um, where's the hyperbrake? Control to dampen rotation. Control plus forward for hyperspeed. Hold space. Okay, so there's there's a lot of controls here. Okay. thought it sounded bad before. <clears throat> now you got some really good shitty sounds. Going to Green Planet. I don't give a fuck. Uh-oh. Um... I've become one with Green Planet. <laughs> Very briefly. Hey, I have an idea. Oh man, what's that? Oh, the sound is gone? Did, did, did the sound disappear completely? That's so weird. How did that happen? And, and what's this? The flaming lips are a part of this game's soundtrack? That's so crazy. What song in particular? Oh, the song Vein of Stars, which is very, very cool. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. You have to use your imagination, so when you get to the planet, imagine lush, vibrant life. Imagine space Irishmen that you could drink with and hang out with and, sh and share a potato. Okay, maybe I'm just hungry for some potatoes, I don't know. green planets. Did you ever see the Star Trek episode with the space Irish people? Just as well. and if there ain't no 
No, really, there there actually was a Star Trek Next Gen episode, first season, where they bring aboard a bunch of, like, space Irish folk. It's really bizarre. I think Riker bangs one of their daughters. Because, you know, Riker, Kirk, gotta have him bang everything. Such a weird episode. I, that's that's one of the few episodes I've only watched once, and then whenever it came up on on Netflix, I was just like, Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't think I want to see that one. This game does look really really cool, though. I, I like you know the idea of low res games more than I like low res games, but I do actually like the idea that you have to use your imagination, and, uh... It's like you're viewing this amazing world just through a very blurry lens. I think Stanley Kubrick would be proud. I think I've gone too far. I haven't found any planets in a while, everyone. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was told I could reach every dot. <clears throat> every dot in the sky. Hang on, I found some more dots. I think I found some planets. I'm gonna just check out a few more planets and then I'm gonna play something different. I may have gone so too far in a few places. Oh. <clears throat> Space engine, yeah. I haven't played Space Engine in a while. Over, like, probably nearly two years now, right? Or, or is it a year? Those are some cool streams. I have to revisit that when I get my new GPU. Oh, here we go. Here's a planet. This planet sucks. I just crashed into it. But how great would it be? Like, Spore had a few cool things in the space segment. Where you could blow up planets and terraform them and shit. Man, I almost want to stream a little bit of Spore. Just some of the cooler parts of the game, like the creature creator. I did that a while back. I streamed Spore when it first, um, when I first started streaming. Because I actually liked that game. Disappointing, but there was some cool ideas that were never fully... ...fleshed out. But that was one cool thing about it, was you could blow up planets. So fucking cool. to the purple and red planet in the distance. Chewy. I'm gonna make the Kessel run in 3.75 parsecs. Oh, come on! Get me there. Here we go. Oh, this is an interesting looking one. That's a nice color. Oh, oh, the opinion guy had another opinion. Spore does not blow. Oh. Kind of hoping to achieve orbit. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Yeah. 
Now the best part of the song. Wait for it. Ah! Ah! Oh, I, I did not again. I did not achieve orbit to purple planet. Hey, speaking of, have you heard the sample of our new song? Check it out, everyone. It's the sample of our new song. It's gonna be shot soon. Oh shit! Oh, oh, it's over. Sorry, it's gone. Um, hey, so that was um, Norman Sky. <laughs> Norman Sky. I, I understand why it's called that now. It's, it's really, really good, really good title. It took me a minute, but now I've officially processed it. <clears throat> Alright, so next on, on the list, this is, like I said, this is a really weird fucking day for games. I, I wasn't planning on making this a giant, like, crazy stream because we, we already did a giant crazy stream on the anniversary. But I do like... I do like this stuff. A lot. We'll move on to weird games again. And this one's called Hocus and Pocus's Epic Adventure. I actually thought it was called Horcus. But no, it's just Hocus. Epic. It's their epic adventure. It's the adventure of a lifetime. You wouldn't want to miss it, you fucker! <clears throat> I just lose my voice even more. Um, how do I fucking load this game? That would be cool if there was a way to load it. Hork Horkus. Horkus and Pete from Loopy CK. Look, I gotta be honest, I have no idea how to load the game. There doesn't seem to be an icon, but here's an asset from the game, everyone. <laughs> that is in the graphics, uh, the gameplay folder. I'm looking around. Um, I'm, I'm just going through the folders now, looking for what may or may not be. Hey, Alice Aaron, do you have any ideas? Do you have any uh, any thoughts on how to start this game? Menu. You need to extract it as a jar. It's a. I, I did extract it. But there's no, um, there's there's no way to run the game. How do, how do I run it? Or I could just show you guys all the assets, you know, and and not actually stream the game. <laughs> that could be a fun experience too, like that fella right there. Click the exe. It's good advice. There is no EXE, but generally that's good advice. Maybe this is the epic adventure. Open the jar file as java.exe. Well, there's no jar file either. <laughs> I'm looking. I haven't I haven't found any of, of the files. 
that I'm supposed to be seeing. <laughs> there's, <clears throat> there's none of that. Hang on, here's, here's another asset from the game. <laughs> Just click it as it's a Java game. <laughs> what do you mean, click it? <laughs> what do you mean? There's nothing to click. There's a bunch of different files, but there's no one thing to click. Hang on a second. Oh, I think I see what you're saying now. Just click it. All right. It's 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 a, it's a WinRAR archive. How do you click the thing? I just need to know how you click it. Open open with Notepad Notepad plus plus. You need to make the zip file into a jar file. Ah, here, here you go. Let's add the extension .jar. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I know how to do these things. It's it says type of file WinRAR archiver .jar. That's the that's the archive file, right? So I got that, but it won't let me it won't let me run it as a jar. So should I open it with like Internet Explorer, which is the best browser? You know what? I'm going to fucking open it with Internet Explorer. No, that's not going to work. Uh, yeah, if I double click it, it opens it in WinRAR. How can you hack? Right click and run Java. Oh, there's no run Java icon. I, I'm thinking that this game is not worth the trouble. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say that Horkus and Pete is the worst game I've ever played, even though I haven't played it. Here's another asset from the game, gents. And, and yet another one. That's one of seven assets that are actually in the game. So you've, you've pretty much been spoiled completely. Here's another one. C congratulations, you've seen more than 50% of the game. Just screw it. It is horrible. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, how cool is this, though? I kind of now I want to see it now. I there's even look music files here. Listen, there's there's four music files. This is the fight music. I don't have JRE installed. Here's song, song one. Oh man, it sounds so cool. Those are all four songs. This, this is the only songs in the game. <clears throat> you better hide, the garbage drag is coming. What? Your face, I hate that shit. <laughs> what? I have to play this game now. Your face, I hate that shit. That is actually one of the attacks. Maybe you should eat some makeup so you can at least be pretty on the inside. I'm actually a very nice person until you piss me off. That's the, that's called Buttercup Attack 1 through 5. All you need is love and an ambush to the face. Ambush? All you need is love and an ambush to the face. You can't okay. hurt my feelings, cause I don't have them. To be or not to be is no question for you. <laughs> what? Double double toil and trouble, fire burn, and so shall you. 
If fear alters behavior, you're already defeated. This is this is an epic adventure. Double, double toil and trouble. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light. These are the files from the game. Hocus the holy and Pocus the poetic have perished, and with them all hope for survival of the Goblin Kingdom. Try again. What? What happened? Hocus the holy and Pocus the poetic have escaped the clutches of the evil Tootsie the Toaster Tooth Fairy. Congratulations, you have saved the Goblin Nation. Teeth are the most important and valuable resource in the ever known neverwhere, the mythical land of fairies, pixies, goblins, unicorns, and more. The dust of ground up children's teeth is used as food and provides the creatures of the <laughs> mythical world with their magical powers at the same time. Tootsie, the toasted tooth fairy and queen of ever known neverwhere, is supposed to divide the teeth equally among all residents of the realm. <laughs> However, she has recently began smoking exorbitant amount of weed and decided to keep <laughs> all the teeth for herself to extort obedience from all other residents by starving them out. She has also hired a gang of loathsome loyal minions to guard the invaluable resource in her castle. Desperate for magical energy, Gorm, the Gormless Goblin King, has sent out two of his most Gorm, trusted Gorm. and brave warrior mages, Hocus the Holy and Pocus the Poetic, to gather provisions of teeth for winter. While making their way through the evil fairy's realm, they are captured and thrown into the castle dungeon. They will have to break out and try to collect as many teeth as possible in the process, so the goblins can survive the cold months. On the dangerous path, they will have to overcome various of the fairy's minions, like Buttercup, the bitchy butterfly, Unibrow, the unethical unicorn, or Pinky, the pixelated pixie. Help them beat their adversaries and save the goblin nation. Well, I have bad news, and that's for some reason Java is not installing, so that means we can't actually see the game. But, but, I'm going to count, <clears throat> I'm going to count that as us having seen the game, because we've seen every asset and listen to almost every sound file in the entire game. So just use your imagination. It's probably better that way. Just pretend that we 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 got everything. The democracy Here, listen. has failed. Let's try dictatorship again. You take a chill pill. Don't kill my high because you are low. The blood dim tight is loosed and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. Yep. Yep. It's better this way, everyone. Java runtime environment for some reason it's not installing any anyway it does doesn't matter it's it's that good enough we got what we needed everyone and I feel like we got the full experience of the game congratulations we just played hocus horcus porcus uh next is next is a game called Um, no Escape Saga. This is in the weird category. No Escape Saga. Okay, it's, it's also slightly loud, apparently. Okay, now, that, that's how I felt, like... The other day. Escape. Oh, oh my god, that's loud. It's a third person game. And that's me. I am I am that blob of pixels that almost forms a swastika on a few occasions. And I'm in I'm in what, what appears to be a house. Okay, this is a game about killing emojis. Good. Yeah, I can read that. Um, so, wacky waving arm inflatable arm flailing arm man. And to think that this game is still more advanced than almost anything that came out 
on the Super, like the Nintendo, like the Atari, all the way up to like Super Nintendo. If you showed this game back in 1990, you'd be looked at as a wizard. Wizard crate. Wacky arm, inflatable arm, flailing arm, flailing tube, man. Good story. I like the story so far. What I've I've come to realize is that my character, <clears throat> the colorless booger, has yet to escape any of the monotony of of the colorless world, and he has decided that he wants to find some color and variety in his life. Is this dude like possibly taking a piss? I did, I did something. I, I think I just opened a treasure chest. Um, <clears throat> my name is Mercus. Mercus the Colorless Booger. What? I think these are cheeseburgers, and I think I'm in a cheeseburger collecting competition. My opponent, however, wants nothing to do with this. Yeah, I think I, I think I did it, everyone. I think I defeated a boss. Yeah, yeah, I think I just defeated a boss. This also might be a cemetery or a gourd patch. One of the two. Says I'm bad at video games. Did I not collect a key in there? I definitely got a key. Maybe I need another key. Yeah, but I, I collected a key from the cheeseburger goblin man. Welcome to dungeon level two. The dungeon of the silver monkey. Um. Quick, choose the thing. I choose sword. Um, can someone explain what the fuck is happening? Okay. Is that someone in bed? Is is it? Uh, is it something sleeping? I I could. <clears throat> Only discern, like, one out of every seven objects in this game. For example, that looks like a trash can. It could be, maybe not a trash can. But that's where I found her. This appears to be some kind of city with a bunch of small little boogers gathered around. To them, I'm a god. Okay. Oh, there, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. <coughs> God, I'm sorry about that. I really... 
really need to clear my throat often today for some reason. You know, I know this looks like just utter nonsense. And sometimes these games are utter nonsense, but I wonder, whenever I play games like this, I wonder if the author had some greater intent. I wonder if there was some actual... Well, we're in a movie theater. I wonder if there was some actual, like, thought that went into this, or it was just like, hey, I'm gonna spend, like, three days making this abstract, obscure nonsense that that asshole Vinny is gonna play. Even though they don't know who I am at the time, but deep down they know. Deep down they know. Oh, I think, um, the word pretentious I've thrown around a lot to my eternal shame, but also <clears throat> pretentious, I think the way I interpret it now that I, I used to not interpret it was that there is some greater intent. Like the artist wants you to believe that it's, it's, it's deep, or maybe there is a deeper meaning, like everything means something, right? But it's just taken to this extreme level. Whereas some people could just make a thing like this, shit it out in like two days with no intent and no actual like thought or like conscious decision making put into it. Then that necessarily, I don't think that one, that would be pretentious. I think my new understanding of the word is that there needs to be some kind of like forced, like, you, you know, look at, look at how deep this is, bro. That kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought I had the key. I'm almost positive I had it. And, I mean, I, I beat the, the cheeseburger boss. And I got a key. But, I guess that wasn't good enough. The worst part is, now I'm actually kind of invested in this, and I want to find out what's in there. I don't think that's going to happen, though, because this there's nothing down here. So let's just go ahead and cancel out of that. I, again, I, today there's been no answers. We've been left confused. I've hardly understood, you know, like more than half of the games that I've played today. Almost all of them I, don't, I didn't understand. So, <laughs> good. Good. This one's called Mystery Tapes. And, oh boy, does this look fun. <laughs> this is from Strange Think, the fine folks, folks that brought you Joy Exhibition and Alien World Art Exhibit Escape. Max. I think the name of that tape was Sin Fat. It's like Sinbad, but Sin Fat. Oh. Cell Soup. Is this corruptions? What the fuck? I'm going to imagine that this is more of that randomly generated shit. This one's called Suffer Island, which is my life tonight. Let's check out Suffer Island, everyone. Oh, uh, froze. Sorry, guys. I don't know why it froze. I'm gonna have to reload it. 
Hang on. I, I want to show you the, the thing from the beginning. I don't want to fuck around like that. Uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it just gets stuck on the title screen. And then you have to re-import the thing. So I'm going to just start the game. Okay, hang on. There we go. Oh, it shows when I tried a different um, visual. Okay, so basically, there are, like I said, when I change the video settings, there are a bunch of random tapes scattered about. Repair block. Grown icky. That looks like a face. I'm assuming the visuals and music are both random. Decide kindly. Stamp mist. Reject to mug. Same with the tape names. Trust access. <clears throat> Frail damage. Search doctor. There's a story in here somewhere. Thaw the year. Whoa, whoa, this one's weird. It's, it looks like corruptions. Immense thing. Oh boy. Have I got an immense thing to show you on this VCR, on this tape right here, right now. Oh shit, Coral. Dreams to be alone with lifeless, almost immediately easy way. Black windows are finally came from of the fossil. Okay. Okay. Yabube. Open to pop. <laughs> Trying became so dangerously, but an echo. And we could know that there our utopia has failed. As we will all be trying. You know, I think there actually is that that speech seems to be random based on the tapes that you have in. That's my initial thoughts. Sky cars. Like, I don't know. Open to pop. Coding Russia. Oh, cooing Russia. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you're in a in a band, you know, making weird trippy music, and you need lyrics, just uh, hop hop on into this game. You could even probably make a music video with this. Ignore to fit and just just say that everything means something and that it's all part of the, the plan Say that all of it means something. It's all designs very specifically and People will will think maybe maybe you're a genius or most people will know better, but You might be able to fool at least one or two people Naive risk Whale to wink. Race gaudy. Those buildings. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. Listen. Turtles in a half shell. Here, let's produce a buddy, shall we? See, buddy has been produced. Difference in the understanding mistakes, dreams of, and we ran. Oh, 
Let's do a calm film. It's much more calm. Kind of calm. Not really. I'm not- I'm not getting the calm. The calm isn't happening. Melodic type. I really like this dude's games a lot. This and Joy Exhibition. And whatever the hell the other one was called. Half Richard. Oh man, that sounds like a euphemism. This never happened. But I saw you leave. Tea clothes. Parachute. Yeah, it's just, um, I mean, it's just something you can fuck around with. I don't know. If you're in one of those states that has legal weed. Have fun, I guess, right? Uh... I'm not sure I could really appreciate this. And it's current, um... You know, in my, in my current level of sobriety. But it is... Try to pick the same color VHS's. Alright, someone wants the same color VHS's. I can do that before I leave. Or before I change games. This is fucking cool though, man. And, and I really like these games that are just... Visual and audio... Just weirdness. With no real objective. Just, you know, fuck around, have, have fun. Make your own interpretation if you want it to mean something. And if not, just, just look. Well, the same color doesn't really seem to matter, because I've gone with, like, red and orange twice. But... Let's try orange and purple. Poor sack. Neon Lodge. That sounds pretty cool. The color of the T- oh, the color of the TV. So that's green. ever been a juggalo? That's a good question. I can't say I juggle ever have been one, <laughs> but, but maybe, maybe one day. Green, green. Green. All green. Granted, there's different shades. I don't think there's ever really gonna be. I think every, every tape has a different, like, hex color. Does Vinny know what a juggalo is? Of course I know what a juggalo is. They juggle. Some of them. The rest of them go to ICP music festivals. Fe festival. Alright, that was Mystery Tape. And... I, again, leave, leave another game with less of an understanding of my own world. Um, a real- a lifetime of realistic simulations. That's next. This is also from the non-games category. A lifetime of realistic simulations. Wait, did- did we- did we did this? Why- why was this? Oh. I remember this. Hey! Welcome to my YouTube channel! Here I'm gonna review a various types of salt, pepper, Garlic salt? Uh... Next is... Is a good game.
let's see. I think I haven't done this one yet. Obra Din. This is made by the people who made Papers, Please. This is a demo. This is a GDC build of the game. And already it looks pretty fucking awesome. Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship, Obra Dinn. Built 1976 in London, 800 tons, 18 feet draft. Draft. Or is it, how do you pronounce that? Is it just draft or drought? I don't know. Captain, oh, it doesn't matter. Fucking foul mouth England. Company man woke me up. Said you need Terry <clears throat> the Obra Dinn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. They don't sound like they live in 1976. Well, this is really interesting. This is a unique graphic style. Wow. It's immediately striking. I don't know if the whole game looking like this is going to be amazing, but I'm all, I am immediately impressed by this. Except for that my mouse doesn't lock inside the game window, of course. Oi! It's too heavy! Okay. Okay. How? Show me how. Good sir. Oh, okay. Memento mortem. Remember death. Remember me. Apparently the bitrate is shitting itself. For for a game with only two colors, I'm actually kind of shocked that the game. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's all the dots in the sky. Usually anything grainy can kill the bitrate pretty pretty nicely. So someone's dead up here. Huh? Oh. And thus the game Zack and Wiki begins. Open the door. Kick it in. Ah! Let's we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. Ah! Oh shit. Super hot 
super hot, super hot, super hot, super. But the future refused to change. Buttons. I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Compass is, is doing a thing. Maybe it was just a little look at what happened. The compass is- is- maybe you- they're not supposed to do anything, you're just supposed to just look. It's a compass to me. It's- a, it's my own personal death compass. Despite it being a pocket watch and not a compass. But even though people in chat are now calling it a compass, Vinny, the game is pirates... Um... Premise for the game is that you use this compass to see glimpses of the past and try to figure out what happened to the crew. Who killed who and how everyone died. Oh, okay. That's interesting. <coughs> Super. It's fun to say that word. Super. So the captain... Or what looked like the captain... Shot this guy in cold blood. Any of the doors open? Find the crew muster roll book. Each other. So this dude got shot. Captain shot him. <clears throat> then Captain killed this crewman who tried to come at him with a, a spear. Nothing personal. Suspect. music. The door I'm supposed to be going through. This book. For the ship Obradin departing to Formosa. 20th, 1802. Okay. Robert, the captain. Fate. Uh, uh. Oh, I see. The 
determine the fate of everyone on board. Okay, so that's that's what you have to do. Press tab to open the crew muster roll. See, I can do that because I'm magic and I have the death note. So Walt Whitman gets his head bashed in by the captain. Captain Machete. Good. Very good. So the captain may still be alive. That, that dude's... I don't know if he's the first officer. I don't know their names. I, I have to do a little bit more... I have to pay a bit more attention if I'm gonna get their names, but... Oh, there's a, a dude here. Oh my god, that is scary. That is a scary face. I don't know who that is, but... progress in the spirit world. You make progress in real life. Then there's a- oh, there's a dead person. Let's do- uh, there's a dead person. That dude died in his sleep, maybe? Let's find out what happened here. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. That's a suicide. Captain felt some remorse. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So considering the game is, is that... we gotta find out who that is. Considering the game looks like this, and isn't more realistic, you can get away with this. Because that might not be blood. That might be donut juice. Seems to be Abigail. Oh, who the fuck this guy? Oh my god. Giant squid! Oh god. Is it the captain? Water. That's it. That looks awesome. Do you want to see the strong men? Of course. 
<clears throat> I see in chat. I've seen enough porn to know where this is going. How dare you? How dare you, Charlie Brown? So, I mean, I guess they, they put her in the bed and, um... My, my idea is that most people went overboard. Um, everyone... Everyone died, right? Except a few crew members. Um... Oh, hang on, there's... Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Suicide by gun. Um, where's Abigail on the list? Oh, there's a lot of people on this. Oh my god. Holy shit, guys, this isn't just... This isn't just, like, different ships. This is one ship. This is one big ship, and these are all the people on the ship. And you really gotta pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be a lot of different scenes. Killed by... A... A beast's... Tentacles. Killed by a beast's tentacles. Yeah, you have uh, a lot of different ways. Alive in... You could choose the country. Or, um... Killed by an enemy via cannon. That's crazy. How the fuck did they even fit on this ship? Six pages. There's six pages of people. Oh, she was hit by the- well, the beast's destruction, not the tentacle itself. That's a good point. Monitor Macintosh. What? IBM 5151. <laughs> Monitor Zenith ZVM whatever the fuck that is. Commodore 1084. Oh, that, that's so cool. But yet, entirely pointless. Killed by a beast's destruction. Well, that was cool as fuck. And Lucas Pope did Papers, Please. Which is a, a kind of a really great game. I've, I've only ever watched it streamed, but it's, it's great. That was cool. I like that. The name of that game was the... Um, Ob Obra Din. Not to be confused with Obara Sand. You want the good game, but you need the bad pussy. Um, and there's only, I think, one... There's only one game left. Let me just double check. Yep. <clears throat> one game left. It's like I'm, I'm probably getting sick. I, I hate to even admit that, but it's like when you admit that you're getting sick, it makes it, like, more real. Hang on a sec, guys. Um, this I can't... <clears throat> I can't window this. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to... Uh, stream, or at least read what you guys are saying. In fact, I can't even... Oh, here it is. I got it. So this, this I know is a long game. And it's called Half-Line Miami.
Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I'd wish to imply that you've been sleeping on the job. No one is more de deserving of a rest than you! And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Oh, well, let's just say your hours come again! Wake up and smell the ashes! Um, so it's a mix of Half-Life and Hotline Miami. <laughs> this is the picture this just being a quick look at the game. There's Breen. Oh, how I know. How I know this first area so well from fucking corrupting the game and glitching it. From either Valve or whoever made Hotline Miami. Oh my god. Jesus. Hold on a second. That was really loud, and I lowered that down to like 40%. We're gonna go down to 20. I wonder if Valve or the Hotline Miami, was it Devolver Digital published it? <clears throat> I wonder if this is some kind of Geneva Convention infringement. There we go. <laughs> you can actually take some damage in this, unlike Hotline Miami. Which, only a few characters can take a little bit of damage, I think, in Hotline Miami 2. I don't remember if the first one had... Uh, any kind of character that could take an extra hit. Music is badass, though. Does anyone know what kind of synthesizer this is? Because I, I, I really need an emulator for that synthesizer so I can make music that sounds like this. Not entirely, but a, l a little bit. I wouldn't mind fucking around with it. If you know what synthesizer Kavazinski used... <laughs> Len Kav Kavazinski. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm dying. I'm actually dying tonight. I didn't realize how shitty I was until I started streaming. that it kind of loosely... Kavinsky. Ah, oh, whatever. That's a cool game. And uh, I'm sure the level editor is, is also cool. But I am going to uh, back out of this now and uh, play some other games. Let's see. <clears throat> Kavinsky uses analog shit, dude. I have um I have a synthesizer that can create some pretty fucking cool sounds, but not like that. 
so that's the lizard crate, everyone. Thank you, Alizarin, for spending the time to put it together and to to give us. Uh, and then someone else in chat says Kavinsky doesn't use analog synths, only VST plugins. Let me tell you, the Twitch chat is always a good place of accurate and non-conflicting information. Then again, I guess that's to be expected. But no, thank you, Alizarin. I appreciate the lizard crate. It was a lot of fun, and uh, you you chose some really interesting games. And uh, it brought me many weeks of entertainment. So, thank you. <laughs>